interesting is so routinely will be happening in the lab. There is a mutation of so-called malstatin causing a special sheet called calipigy. Calipigy. What this means? Beautiful Butter, beautiful butt. You look at that. Huge butt there. At the beginning, people think it's so, oh, very good. There's a double muscle. Is that right? People think it's very good, double muscle. However, when you taste it, not good at all. Why? There is a low level of red fiber, muscle fiber. High level of white fiber and low level of fat. So that type of muscle is not very really good. You diluted it. Not good at all. Mild statin, we like it. If the cattle have that one, that's really like, well, very good potatoes. This one is not good. First of all, low cat, calpinity and normal, the calplastic, calplastatic, that's a calpe inhibitor. The amount is huge, almost double compared to normal. Second, Local share force value, even you do aging. Dry aging or wet aging, what happened? The normal one, share force value from eight, 21 days, three to four. That's what we like, very tender. Look at the cow, Cali PG. 11, at the end of the day, 10. You can even, uh, oh, sorry, uh, eight to nine. I would say you're using a blade to cut, maybe not like a stove, kind of. You don't even can do it. So that's example. So that means when you do the breeding for some of the sheep, these have to be avoided. Okay? We go here, talk about the electro stimulation. Why we do electro stimulation right here? Now make sure this is different from electro stunning. Electro stunning when you the cattle do they, they go there they, 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 they like coma or like stun. This is when the carcass is already being finished. Then do the electro stimulation to make sure the pH decline and the ragamort mortis happens more quick and prevent the cold shock. Now what they really do? Speed up pH decline, cause adjacent tissue tearing and the resulting contraction bands. There is two different level of the voltage for the electrical stimulation. Uh, higher voltage improved the tenderness 20 to 25 percent. This is about 10 percent. So the voltage you can see the difference. 550 voltage, low voltage only 35 to 50. So that's a function for the electrical stimulation. Okay. If you don't want to do anything else, when the meter comes out, what you can do? Is you marination or injection of the plant enzyme? Okay. There are many plant enzymes. There. Lots of them will do something for those enzymes. For example, papaya generate papain, pineapple have bromelain, fig will have fissing. They will be containing collagenous and elastic things, will be break down collagen and elastic. Some of them could be injected into the meter muscle or marinated as a solution. All of them could be more in effective if you are cooking at 75 to 85 degrees Celsius, which reach the internal temperature of the muscle. Something else we do. We can do it adding some other chemicals. Sodium chloride, for example, phosphates. 
including improving water holding capacity, raising pH of the muscle. We can add calcium then, because calcium will be activated, calcium enzymes. And we also increase the calcium, we'll have uh, impacts for the structure proteins. And we also could be adding add acidic acid, sodium chloride, can weaken the sarcolemma surrounding the muscle fiber. And I want to tell you one thing. Some of them maybe is the antimicrobials. Let's say salt or acidic acids. People find that later on. At the beginning, people are using them do try to make the meat is more tender. That's a purpose. Later on, they find they can kill bacteria. Okay, that's much later. So, injection with organic acid, salts, phosphate, calcium chloride will make the meat very, meat very tender. How about another easy way to make it? Just use bundle or blades or like needles to disrupt the muscle, myofibro, muscle fiber, collagen, or the proteins. A large portion, 50% of the United States sports uh, for the service beef is doing blade and needle tenderization. They are passing through one to two, two times or will cause eight, two to eight times more tender. Dramatically decrease the shear force value. This is easy to understand. Blade and needle, just cut. We can buy a normal, which is a portable one, only $50. I'll do that in my food micro lab. We can tenderize it. Okay, that's very easy break down the muscle. However, this comes on later. A major microbial safety concern during tenderization. If this needle is contaminated with E. coli O157H7, it will be penetrated inside of the meat. If this solution, marinated solution, has been contaminated with E. coli O157H7, this will come to problem. Because all of these beef, we call it non-intact beef, which means all the beef has been going through mechanical or chemical tenderization. E. coli O157H7 will generate shigate toxin is a, an adulterant certified, regulated by USDA FSIS, which means ground beef any of the nine types of beef, including beef steaks, you're not allowed to have one cell of E. coli O157H7, and 10 cells will let people down. There is a lot of outbreaks happened back in 2007, 2000 to 2007. Lose five or six million dollars. Most of them is inadequate cooking. Cooking to law or rare status, because we want attendance. Some of them, you cook it directly from outside status. People miss the conception between the internal temperature and the temperature of the surface. Okay, so when I was a student back in Colorado State University, about like 15 years ago, we did a bunch of study about microbial safety of the tenderizing meat, meat during the meat tenderization process. Because we always care about tenderizing, tenderizing, tenderizing. At the end of the day, we find out microbial safety concern is a major issue. So, roughly cooking, cooking to the internal temperature, 71.1 degrees Celsius is regulated by USDA to make sure the food safety of the meat. Okay, so that's all I have today for the tenderization. So I think these parts, which is talk about a little bit of meat science, is important. Okay, then you can understand this material very well. Okay? Thank you.